My name is Inja Schops. I'm the president of Europark Federation. Uh, protected areas and climate change are topics, I think, for the future. As where we know that biodiversity and protected areas are essential for who we are and who we would like to be in the future, I think climate change is existential. So protected areas can play a huge role in also the mitigation and the adaptation of climate change because a lot of protected areas are buffering, are sequestering carbon, uh, car carbon dioxide. So we see that for the moment, 50% of all the uh, ecosystem ecosystems in the world are buffering the temperature at the moment on, on, on the world level. So, but we see there that the buffer ca capacity of ecosystems is nearly at the, at, at the end. So now we have to think together how can we use protected areas to more, do more to uh, address climate change. And of course, protected areas play an important role, but as we know, at the international level, it is asked to, let's say, think out of the box, go out of your protected areas and, and try to make the links with the older stakeholders of our yeah, beautiful planet that we have. Climate change can be addressed by all the inno innovative, let's say, solutions that can be found in protected areas, sometimes very small and very hidden somewhere in Europe, but now with the Conference of Europe Park Federation, they come up the stage and we can discuss about this uh, throughout the week and we find solutions. Firstly, I would say that Europark is an old organization, but it's, it was never as young as now. We are protecting and covering 40 million hectares throughout Europe, representing 40% of Natura 2000. So I think we have a role to play, a role to play that is also political, strategical, very important at the EU level. Because what we see is that all those many protected areas, those managers, those directors, those uh, elected uh, people in the board, they are now finding solutions, micro solutions that can be upgraded to a larger scale. And that's the beauty of a community like Europark Federation, where we take into account biodiversity, but also the cultural aspects of all those beautiful regions across and uh, throughout Europe. Europark has to play the key role and has to raise his voice uh, at the European political level. And we are obliged to give also voice to all the members that are in our federation, raise a level, take responsibility, take leadership, go jointly with ISN, for instance, and shoulder by shoulder show that it is not only, let's say, the politi political community or, let's say, the, the community of the businesses that has to change the world. Now we have to come forward because we don't only have solutions for biodiversity and wildlife, we have also solutions for the social economic problems we face throughout Europe.